Hello Capricorn. Capricorn, welcome to your reading. We're going to be looking at the messages that you need to know at this present moment in time. We are also going to be looking at what it is that the divine is wanting to bring to your attention. We're going to be diving into this message using our oracle cards and also using our tarot cards. So as we are getting your messages on the table, I want to remind you that today we have our candle magic ceremony for Valentine's Day. And if you're wanting to be part of the ceremony, there are still some spaces that are left. Go in the description box below, reserve your space. And the ceremony is connected to those of you who are wanting to call in your love, your soulmate, your twin flame, whatever it is that you decide to label it. And also for those of you who might feel that you've got blockages and you want cleansing revolving around the romantic side of things, revolving also around self-love the candle magic ceremony for today for valentine's day is going to be really good i want to say to you that we're also going to be working with the energies of manifesting okay and as we're working with the energies of manifesting we are using the energy of valentine to manifest the life that we love manifest our dreams to come true so we are going to be diving deep into this reading we can get more tarot cards if we need to Capricorn, you've got really nice cards that are on the table for you. The divine is saying to you that we are going to be looking at the past, the future, any advice that you need, also any outside influences and also any obstacles and what is the likely outcome of your situation. So you are receiving in the recent past the energy of 1111 and the energy of 1111 is saying to you that you have been dismissing some synchronicities. You have been dismissing some divine messages as if they didn't really have a meaning. The divine is saying that the repeating numbers, the synchronicities that you have been saying, rather seeing, they have a meaning. And for some of you, you actually have been saying that, you know what, I keep seeing two, two, two. I keep seeing four, four, four. I keep seeing this repeating message over and over again, but I don't know what it means. The divine is saying, when you are seeing that number, when you are seeing that repeating message, think to yourself, what was I just thinking? Or for some of you, go and research what that number means. Because the divine is saying, there's no such thing as a coincidence. And the reason why you are seeing these numbers is because your manifestations are about to come true. There are new chapters, there are happy endings that are written for you. And this is why the divine is saying that you've been seeing these numbers. And not only that, look at the energies of the future. In the near future, the divine is wanting you to know that you are going to be seeing your wishes coming true. You are going to be seeing your manifestations become a reality. It might have felt like right now things have taken a long time to come to this point. But the divine is saying that, hey, Capricorn, remember, you are working with divine timing. Remember that the good things that happen take time. So in the past, you were seeing repeating numbers, which was a confirmation to say that in the present, in the now, exciting new beginnings are starting to show themselves. You're starting to see little sprinkling here, little manifestations here, little confirmations here happen for you. And the divine is saying that in the near future, everything that you've been seeing is going to become into your reality. The manifestations, your wishes are going to be coming true. So use this day, this Valentine's Day, because the vibration is high to plant your seeds of intention and to say your prayers. The advice that the divine is wanting to give you, Capricorn, is saying to you that as you are starting to see the magic happen, as you are starting to see the new chapters blossoming, as you are starting to walk into your happy ending, the divine is saying to you the advice that you need to take is that you need to stand in your power, okay? Don't let other people diminish your presence. Don't let other people make you feel that you don't belong in spaces where you're being promoted, in spaces where opportunities, where doors are opening for you. The divine is saying, stand in your power because there are some people who are going to be able to see what you bring to the table they're going to value you and it is important for you not to shy away. It is important for you not to let imposter syndrome make you feel that you didn't earn what is rightly yours because you certainly did end this. You have been through a lot. 
we know that Pluto has just transitioned out of your sign and Pluto really put you through the depth of hell and back. And now as Pluto has left, it is time for you to shine. It is time for you to stand in your power because everything that Pluto taught you was for a reason. This is you rising from the phoenix and this is you starting to understand that this is your time. Because the divine is saying outside influences that you might not see at the moment is that there are some things that are happening, okay? The divine is saying that you are going to love what happens next. So in the background, everything is happening. In the background, there are blossoms, there are seeds that are sprouting. And the divine is saying that it is going to be obvious, it is going to be apparent that everything that you've been through has been for a reason. And you are going to have a reason to smile. You are going to have a reason to celebrate because boom, 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 one after the other, after the other, there is just this magic that is around you. So the divine is saying that the fear, the obstacles that could be here is that some of you feel that you've been praying, feel that you've been appealing to the divine and nothing is happening. The divine is saying that boom, here's a sign. Okay. Here's a sign that you prayed for that everything is happening for your greatest comeback. Everything is happening for you. Even though right now it might just be seeing that, it might just be seeming rather that it is just little things, it is just little things that don't seem to mount up into big things. But the divine is saying, remember we spoke about coincidences. So all those little manifestations, all those golden moments, all the synchronicities before you know it are going to mount up into something big. For some of you, maybe you're winning the lottery. For some of you, you're getting promoted. For some of you, you're finding the love of your life. For some of you, life just feels so good. The divine is saying, don't let fears, don't let obstacles get in the way. Don't let you make yourself think. That you've, what you've been praying for is not happening. There is so much energy of excitement. But there is that feeling, that trace of anxiety and worry that is there. Remove that anxiety. Remove that worry and step into faith, understanding that the divine wants you to understand that everything is coming into your reality. Everything that you prayed for is going to become into your life very, very soon. And it feels that you maybe you've been reading tarot readings, you've been listening to tarot readings and you just feel like you're feeling frustrated because all the promises don't seem to be happening fast enough. But the divine is saying, beloved, Rome wasn't built in a day. So your prayers, your manifestations, maybe you were doing your candle magic ceremonies and nothing seemed to be happening fast enough. But in the background, you are not seeing everything that was being lined up for you. And now things are going to start falling into place one after the other after the other. It's like a domino effect. And the divine is saying there's a sense of celebration that is going to be here. And I really love this message that is there because sometimes we block our own manifestations just before they become a reality. We block them through our fear, through our anxiety, through our worries. Some of you are in that energy of wanting to eat from your seed the same day that you planted it. Understand that if you're planting a seed, it takes time for that seed to fight through, to, to really start showing up. It has to go through a lot of pressure. It has to go through trials and tribulations as it's trying to break through the ground and start showing itself. So equally for some of you, your manifestations are right there. They're starting to show up little by little. So don't make yourself feel that you've been waiting for too long. Don't lose faith now, just before dawn, just before the brightest hour, just before you hit gold. Don't lose faith now. The divine is saying, as we're looking at our card, the last card that is here of the likely outcome, it is interesting to me how it is linked to the first card, how it is linked to the past. These two cards together are speaking the same message to you, Capricorn. So pay attention. Look at our last card and look how perfectly it's telling you the same story that our first card wanted you to understand. 
I want you to comment 1111 in the comment section below because the divine is saying that the angel numbers have a meaning. Okay, so stop thinking that everything that is happening is just a mere coincidence. Stop being too logical and start leaning in to understanding that magic, your life can change, boom, just like that. And this is what it feels like because you have done the hard work. You have climbed that mountain. And as you get to the top, the view is going to be magnificent. The view is going to make it feel worthwhile everything that you experienced in the past. All the challenges, everything, all the pain, all the tears. When you get to the top, when you are here, loving the next chapter of your life is going to feel like it was all worthwhile. So our tarot card on the table, Capricorn, you have the energies of the Knight of Cups. I love the energies of the Knight of Cups because remember what we're speaking about. You have been climbing that mountain. You have been brave. You have been showing up. And the divine is saying, now you're starting to step into the phase, into the era of relaxing and enjoying and just allowing yourself to be because now you don't have to push. Now you don't have to force things to happen for you. Because as the energies of this message, the energies of Mercury that is here, the messenger that is here, is wanting you to understand that the next phase of your life is going to feel like this. Peaceful, blissful, easy. Because all the coincidences are going to allow you to relax into the next phase of the manifestations into the next phase of the chapter that is unfolding for you. So you're being asked to step into that energy of not rushing into anything, but rather open up your heart space. This is where the cups operate. They operate in the heart space. Open up your heart space and allow yourself to welcome in all these good energies that are around you because something magical is going to be unfolding for you this week. So today on Valentine's Day, say your prayers. Today on Valentine's Day, offer gratitude for all the magic that is about to start unfolding for you. So beloved Capricorn, this is the message that the divine wanted to give to you. And again, if you're wanting to be part of the Valentine candle magic ceremony today, Go in the description box below and reserve your space. Write your petition about what it is that you're praying for. And this evening, I'll be saying all the prayers. I'll be doing what I need to do. And so on that note, Capricorn, I'm going to see you in my next reading. It is a goodbye from me. Bye.